this is just a little snippet of what it's going to take if you decide you want to do something like this. Um, we've all seen the pictures of this. Uh, I'll put some more in the, you know, in the descriptions of the video here so you can actually see where this came from. This thing was painted two or three coats of old paint, and then we came along and put kills and more latex paint on top of it. So as I've said before, be sure you know if you're going to paint something or if you're going to stain something before you actually do it, because it was a double whammy on this one. So you're going to need a little kick. We've literally been going over this entire thing, getting out all these little white marks here with a pick, and that's the only way you can do it. The speed heater did a great job of lifting the initial layers, but the speed heater has some limitations, and those limitations are going to be in these cracks. I'm going to play with it a little more and see if I can get it to be more efficient in these areas like this, but I'm almost of the mind that an old-fashioned piece of sandpaper, a pick, and a chisel <laughs> are going to be about your um, only options here with this. And I want to do a quick video on it. I'm up here today um, with, with bronchitis, so I've got my lovely respirator on. I don't think the house is the source of it, but anyway, what have you. I'm being a too cautious here for the next couple weeks. Dust. But just look what we have been able to do with this. Come up and take a look in terms of how thin this is. Now I get there's still some blotchiness in this. We're going to put a lot of wood conditioner on it and clean it really well. And the stain is going to be quite dark. The stain we're doing on this is just a min wax um, Jacobian. And then we're going to put a real high sheen gloss. But this is just one little snippet of where we're going with it, and it's just a bunch of sandpaper, pick, chisel, <laughs> and, and that's just how you have to go at it. Total hours, I think, in this. We've been working on this for about the last three weekends. I'd say this is a eight, nine hours worth of work total to do this, and, and it's still not entirely done. Still doing the fine tuning on it, but. This is where we're going all the way up the entrance way here and then all the way upstairs. All that's going to be back to the original oak. But this is, this is just part of what it takes. It's not pleasant work. It's, it's, it's what I call um, true conservation work as opposed to just slapping some paint on something. It's really taking that extra effort to put this back to where it needs to be, put this back to the way it would have looked, maybe somewhat to the way it would have looked when it was built in 1907. And that was just a quick snippet of where we are with this. And we're going to have other videos, of course, that are blended into this one, but I just wanted to show this and um, so everyone will see where we're going and you know, what our starting point was. But I think we're on our way. We'll have some more footage of this later. This is a little trick that you can implement if you have areas where the light paint is down in wood and you plan to do it a little darker. You can just take your dark brown paint and go right in these grooves with it, just go all the way down. And you never ever will see this with a dark stain. Now, if you're doing something light, this probably wouldn't work. But we have a couple little areas on this thing that we just cannot get because the paint has been in ground for so long. Like, if you come here, you can see what I'm talking about. Like, these little white areas here, the scraping is not getting those without probably permanently damaging the wood. So we just put this on real thin. And when we come over it with the light stain, or the dark stain rather, it's gonna just look like a little wood variation, which, which is fine because this is a rough looking piece of furniture. I've always said it was a little out of character probably with the rest of the house. I mean, it is original to the house, but part of me wonders if this little bench was Maybe made by somebody local 
and that's why it's a little bit more raw. I believe that most of the, the really ornamental pieces of this house may have like been ordered. I don't think, say, the staircase or the columns here were, were made locally. I mean, I may be wrong, I don't think that they were. This piece, I think, was made locally, and that's why we're getting that rougher quality of wood in it. It's not a, a store-bought piece. This is a great little thing. You can just keep this like everything else to do with this is. But it's a great little hat when you don't want to spend the rest of your life digging paint out of, out of grooves.